What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Now look at this. This was given to me by my auntie who picked it up from a house clearance or something. No idea what it is. But there's just something about it that speaks to me. It looks very old. And it looks really sad. And it looks like it's been played to death. Look at that. But it does have the highest action I've ever seen and a bit of a banana neck. There's no truss rod in this, but I don't know if you can see this. Look at this. The neck is moving here, here, it's come away. So this string tension is pulling it, so you can see that moving like that. So I can glue it, clamp it, and that will pull it back quite a bit. Not sure if I can put any do anything with that neck, I'll try. I've got a few little tricks I can try. But I love this thing. That little eye there that someone's put in for the strap and it's been damaged, been broken and glued back together. And yeah, I'm gonna make this work. Even if it just becomes a slide guitar. Cause I just love how cool it is. So in between everything else, I'm gonna be doing something with this. So the bridge is just like a free floating thing, um, which I can take the height down a little bit on if I need to, or I could maybe do something else. Um, I'm going to clean this fretboard up a bit before I do anything. Uh, I touched it. Yeah. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to see what I can do with this neck because it's going to be a little tricky getting any glue in there. So. We'll have a little go, see what I can do. Uh, I've managed to clean up the fretboard a bit with some 2500 grit sandpaper and some elbow grease, a little bit of WD-40 just to get in there. And it's brought the frets up a little bit. You can see how warm they are. 
I don't know what they're made of. They look like a like a brass or something. But I noticed um, on here, I literally just noticed this. It says Coniston, 1962. And that's the only clue of its origin, its date, whatever, because there's nothing, there's no other numbers on it anywhere. Uh, the nut is damaged, so I'd have to replace that. But yeah, it's an interesting thing. But I'm going to see if I can uh, glue that neck and clamp it, and I'll leave it for a few days to go off. Woohoo! I had this clamped uh, overnight, I glued it, clamped it, left it overnight and it seems to have got a really tight bond on there now. I literally just had to force it apart and squeeze the glue in the best I could. Um, I could uh, put a strap button in here because this piece of wood, this part of the neck, sorry, goes through and I could screw a strap button into there with a nice, a decent screw which would uh, give it a tiny bit more stability. I don't want to do that because it has this cool little eye thing here which someone's put on for the strap but if I string it up and it starts to come away that's what I'll do. This nut's broken here so I'm going to have to replace this nut I think. I have this one um, which is kind of the same size ish but I'm gonna have to take this off and chisel some of that out to get that in there right so I've cut the old one away and cut a square out to put the new nut in which fits pretty nicely there so I'm gonna glue that in I'm happy that the height is pretty good I might bring the height down just a little bit on it actually I'll do that first so I've just loosely put the bottom and top string on before I glue the nut down. I have took it down a bit, but I think I can bring it down a little bit on the top end. Bottom end is really nice. Uh, this bridge is floating, and there's a pencil line or pen line there. So I'm assuming that's where it's supposed to go. I could glue it, but there's probably no need. So I'm just going to bring the top end of that down a bit more, and then I'm going to string it up and hope that the neck doesn't fall off. So what I ended up doing was, I ended up putting a strap button in there anyway just because I wasn't confident that I got the glue in there good enough and it's solid, absolutely rock solid. found a little brass one which I thought quite matched it. I've, I've got another one somewhere so I might replace that one as well. Um, so there, that, that's it really. New nut, works great, clean up, it's, it's um, a really interesting guitar apart from the 1962 Coniston engraved on it. There's no other clue to how old it is, where what it is, or anything, but it's amazing because it all works. Tuners still work. It's got some damage there, it's been glued. It's got a screw in there. I don't know if you can see it, it's too long, it sticks out. Can you see that? In there. Um It's got a interesting sound. It's not very bright, it's not very resonant. played it has been played to death you can tell that um, so there you go this was a house clearance find it's probably not worth a thing but I just love the fact that you can see it's been used 57 year old guitar I think the frets are the frets are square which is weird it kind of makes sliding a bit uncomfortable and it looks like they're made of brass or something but I don't know. Is this, could this be like a homemade job? Could this be a handmade job? Is this what guitars were like back then? Um, I mean, considering there's no truss rod in it either, the, the, neck's pre, the neck's pretty straight. It's not got a banana in it at all. It's not bad. Got a pretty, I managed to get a pretty decent action on it. Um, it smells, it smells like, it smells like an attic. Or a house that's been left empty for ages.
Anyway, so yeah, that was the uh, renovation of this thing. Um, I just did the video for a bit of fun, really, because I just thought, well, you know, why not? I quite like it. It's got a lot of character, and it will probably hang around in my studio and get picked up now and again. If I want that kind of authentic -y kind of old bluesy sit on the porch sound for anything, I might pick it up and use it for a recording. But hey, if anybody else has has had a guitar like this that's of that age, then let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to uh, hear if you know anything about these. Or were they were these just a generic cheap thing that was that people bought? I don't know. But anyway, if you like this kind of video, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel further, you could become a patron, if you want to. Check out my other videos. Peace. Till next time.